Why does my Filipino old lady always store things in the trees? Baby, Kalamansi tree is not a place to store the shopping bag. My goodness. Put that coffee there. Back of the grill, close it up so the babies can't pull it down on themselves. Hey, this grill. What a champion. What are you feeding my children over here? <laughs> what is it? Sardines or rice? Yeah. Maria, masarap? No? <laughs> Where's G eating the sardines? Baby, where did you get this shirt? I've never seen this shirt before. This could be an unauthorized purchase here, folks. Breaking news. Where'd you get that shirt, honey? This is all good. I don't think me or my viewers, anybody has seen this here shirt. Even it doesn't mean that I'm not aware this is new. So it's new? That's not new. When did you buy it? I think there's some bola bola going on, folks. No, it's not close here. Papa. And you just now wearing it? Yeah. Honey, because I, think... I don't like the neck. I like the V neck. No, I like this nice. Look beautiful on you, baby. You looking so pretty today. My goodness. Feeding them babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought this is my food, but. <laughs> You feed them babies them sardines, they love them. Good job, sweetie. This damn liquor band got extended. <sighs> What's the dog to do? Go with the crazy Carabao and Mr. Bean. Still holding strong, folks. Liquor band got extended from what I hear. Hard way to live. Blessed with some delicious food I just cooked up. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is from Chili's. Chili's from uh, the SM over there. And she got a really good dish right there. What's that? Liempo and yeah. chicken? Corn? Rice? Mm -mm. Oh, my goodness. That's what I'm working with here, folks. Maria, masarap? Come on. Good job for us, Jay. Good job. Yeah, good job, buddy. <laughs> What's up, baby? How was your food? Yours was good? Okay, I'm glad you like it. All right. She's got a Pocahontas look going on today. My goodness, so pretty, honey. Look like you belong on Yellowstone. On the res, baby. Love it. Folks, I'm going to be honest with you. That chili's water let me down. The hamburgers weren't that great. The bread was dry. The uh, chicken, the buff bu a boneless buffalo wings was so salty. I mean, my gosh, I mean, I ate it, but it was it was damn near too salty to eat. So I'm glad she liked her dish, but the stuff, the rest of the stuff, uh, sorry, chilies, y'all let me down over there. That just wasn't uh, chili-esque. I'll give you another try, but that was a no-go. My goodness. Now, the clam chowder was good. Her dish was good, so I was a 50%. 50% thumbs up, 50% thumbs down but for the price of chili a little disappointed mm -hmm. hey good morning folks hope everybody's doing well out there it's a brisk morning here the sun is coming up so it's not cool anymore when you first get up in the mornings here at least here in Angeles City, it is so nice and cool now. Went from being cool, had a little hot streak. Now it's cool. 
What a beautiful day. Just check out that sunshine. Not a cloud in the sky. I'm up and at them. Good morning, Mr. Kitty Cat. How are you? Anyhow, so. Good morning, morning. Anyhow, yeah, I'm up and at them. Just taking a walk. Instead of going on the main road, I figured I'd just check out some back streets here, see what's happening. Don't even know what street I'm on, to be honest. Didn't pay attention. There you go, right there. Two bedroom, two bath. The Smack Bill Apartments. I'm on Maravellis Street. Maravellis. There you go. Big old house for rent. Five bedroom, maze room, five toilets, two car garage. Tucked away on this sort of side street. I don't know if you say side street. But I'll show you where I'm at. There's the Blue Boar Inn up there in Restaurante. Yeah, I think I'll take a right. Headed this way. Good morning. Gentleman right there selling rugs. Start of a long day for that gentleman. Walking around trying to sell a rug. Think your job is hard? Uh, if we all walked a day in that man's shoes, probably make us appreciate life a hell of a lot more. Wish you luck, my friend. I hope you sell one of them rugs. Popped out here at the Hilltop Hotel. New Thai, Thai massage place. I'm not sure if it's open or not. Let me just pause and give you a look around. There's a keg and brew gastro pub. Right there's the Hilltop Hotel. I don't know why that guard's wearing a face shield. I mean, it's up to him. It says that it's open from 2 p.m. to 12 a.m. Yeah, back in the day, that place was a red planet. No, back in the day, this was the Toon. The Toon Hotel, then it rebranded to Red Planet. Needs a coat of red paint. All right, let's see what's happening on the main drag. Gentleman right there. Looks like he had a nine iron. Not sure where he's going with it. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Where I'm headed out, folks, I gotta go pick up some phones. Anyhow, the internet that I use, been using for a couple years, was converged. Still have converged, thankfully. Converge internet, been great. Hardly ever goes out. Fastest internet I've ever had. So anyhow, but when you sign up for converge, you have to sign a two-year contract. You know, so if you're being transient, traveling around, it's not going to work for you. But if you settle down somewhere up in this region, you get Converge. You got to sign a two-year contract, and I think you got to pay like two months up front and one month deposit. And it might sound a little bit expensive, but trust me, that that's the best internet. I mean, in my experience, just by far. So anyhow, when you cancel your contract, turn in the router, and refund all that money. So that's what we did. We left out of Barrio Barreto, turned in the router. You know, I was already past the two years, no big deal. Cancel the contract. And they said it'll be, I can't remember what they said, how many weeks they said, like six to, six to 12 weeks. Anyhow, two or three months. And then it would be refunded via uh, LBC. They told me it'd be delivered to my house. So I'm thinking, okay, a courier is just gonna show up and deliver it. So I've been waiting, you know, checking with my landlord over there. Hey, did any mail come for me? For me? 
this is like 10,000 pesos, like a couple hundred bucks. Like, no, I hadn't come. I'm like, wow. I figured it was just taking a long time, which it was. Then you get this text, and the text says, you know, uh, converge, blah, blah, blah. Go to NELBC, give them the transaction number, pick up your money. And they give you 30 days to do it. If you don't, I guess it gets rescinded, and then it'll be a pain in the ass to get it. I don't know. I ain't waiting no 30 days. I waited one day. And now, my ass is heading out to try to recover this money. And so as long as this goes down and it's successful, my entire experience with Converge was just on time. Just everything from the installation to, uh, you know, I moved the service twice. They came and moved it for a reasonable rate. They did it fairly quick. Hey, you know, they ain't paying me to say all this, but I'm just telling you, you move over here, you stay in any place for a while. You know, if you're gonna stay in one place for a while, over two years, you get a, get a Converge. Converge service, you'd be glad you did. There you go. If you're looking for the Converge office, you know, if you go to the end of Walker Street down there at the McDonald's, cut a right, it's just a couple blocks up on the right. Across from uh, Irish, uh, uh, Sullivan's Irish Pub. It's before the Casino Filipino. They're always crowded out there, though. The one in Longpo is crowded every now and then, but if you got that coins.ph app, you can pay your Converge bill on the app. If you never heard any of my other previous preachings about the uh, coins.ph app, it's pretty good. Never had a problem with it. You do everything from pay bills to... Uh, well, you do send money, receive money, uh, add load to your phone or anybody else's phone. Oh, you can buy a cryptocurrency too. Coins.ph. Man, it's a quiet morning. And today, what's, what's today? Tuesday? Tuesday morning. Here at Malabanus Road. Kind of tricky here so you don't get run over. Get run over about three, four ways. I always come right here. And then scoot over real quick to the corner. Yeah, I'll pass some Puzzles Cafe. Tempted to stop in there and get some breakfast, but I'm a man on a mission. Wife number two back at the crib and she's making well, hell, she's making eggs and toast. Might as well just wait. Eat back at the grill. Coming up on the Great Wall of China. Got a shitty coat of white paint or primer, whatever that is. Mmm. That's an ugly building right there. Whoop. Almost stepped in a hole. But you gotta pay attention when you're walking around here. Find your ass six foot down in a sewer full of poop. I guess that's what that thing's supposed to look like. Once it's finished, how pretty it's supposed to look but reality ain't up with the marketing good job on the marketing not so good job on the construction or the architecture that's just one man's opinion going to the gas station here try not to get run over there's your prices 
Bear in mind, that's for a liter, not for a gallon. People always ask me, how much is a gallon of gas over there? Fuck, I don't know. I'd have to go figure out, take the uh, current rate for a liter and then do the conversion. That's too much work. Iglesia ni Cristo. Distrito ng Papanga Norte. What's happening here to Lewis Clark? Or excuse me, to Lewis Grant. Let's think about the Lewis and Clark expedition. Alright. I got a vehicle here, but the fountain's not running. Just such a beautiful building. The old Lewis Grand Hotel. Beautiful architecture. I don't know who built it, who the architect was, who designed it. It's just a pretty building. Always nice to walk past this little nursery right here. Beautiful scenery. The only problem with having a lot of plants and a lot of vegetation around your house in Southeast Asia is that it attracts mosquitoes. Trust me, I'm a mosquito expert. There's three plants. I, I can't, I, I'd have to pull it up and show you, but three plants in my experience that don't attract mosquitoes, actually repels them. I mean, lemongrass is one of them, obviously. I plant lemongrass all the way around, but there's also, uh, couple others you can have that the mosquitoes don't seem to be attracted to. Alright, passing CPI call shop. Got a we are hiring sign up so if you know any young lady that needs a job, go to go over there to CPI call shop. Nice little place to work. Watch out, dog. Just don't nibble on the dog, we'll be straight. A lot of these hotels, all they're doing is Returning OFW quarantine. I got it. It's where the money's at. It's just still a concept of ridiculousness. Seafood spot. Seafood's on us. That's where we bought some stuff before. Where we get some shrimp. I can't remember what all we picked up from there. They got shrimp, crab, fish, all kinds of good seafood stuff. A little fresh market. All right, here's this new Chinese place right there. And it is open. Authentic Chinese cuisine. Now I want to get some takeout and I want to test it out. Oh, that's something different there, but right here. Authentic Chinese cuisine. I just wonder if it's going to be like real Chinese cuisine. Or if it's going to be like Americanized General Cho's chicken cuisine. If I can get some General Cho's chicken, some orange chicken. A couple of egg rolls. Some uh, hot and sour soup. And some crab rangoon be my new favorite place but i don't know you know most places in southeast asia you go eat chinese food it's like real chinese it ain't americanized chinese i'm trying to give me some americanized chinese people often ask me what i miss about the united states 
one of the big things on my list is Chinese takeout. You know, in America, you got a uh, Chinese takeout on every corner. Morning, morning. I miss that. I eat Chinese about once or twice a week when I was over there. Spice Road, Express Thai Cuisine. Alright, we're getting down into the thick of things now. Old Angel's Bakery. Everything's good there at Angel's Bakery. You've never been to Angelese City before. Angel's Bakery. Um, great food for dining in. Got all kind of bread, cakes, and everything. Pastries for takeout. They got German beer. It's a big hangout for foreigners. So if you come to Angelese City, obviously you need to stop in at Angel's Bakery and partake of the deliciousness. Uh, no, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Hansonville Terminal. Getting down into the thick of things here. Check the action. Yeah, try not to get ruined over. Oh, just drop the hammer. Drop the hammer and head on. All right, so it's 51 on the dollar at the money changer right now. You know, as long as you get 50 to a dollar, everybody's happy here. You know, 50 pesos to a dollar, the math's easy. Everybody's happy. And that ship drops below 50 occasionally. When it does, it messes up your math. It ain't a big deal, but. A few players looking out through the chicken wire back there at Margarita Station. Early morning risers coming to get the breakfast and stare out through the chicken wire. Why is that soothing? I have no idea. I mean, if you took down the chicken wire and you're just looking straight out, it's not the same effect. Now, the reason for the chicken wire, so people can't reach up there beg for money and hang out in the front get close to your food makes sense right same concept as the cage around the band in that movie Roadhouse you know you come down here to Phillies they don't have it but people can get right up there close to your food but that's the excitement of it interacting with your fellow humans I ain't gonna lie I've been sitting there in Phillies many times people come up Share some French fries. Combine steamed corn and crabs. Oh, fuck, I'm coming up on the famous or infamous, whichever one you prefer to call it. Walking Street. Again, Tuesday morning, early. Let's see what's happening. I have to turn this gentleman down. No, thank you, my friend. Nah, I don't need that. No, nah, no, thank you. I don't need Cialis, brother. Nah, I don't need Cialis or Viagra, but thank you anyhow. Just don't need it. When you look at beautiful girls like that, why do you need it? All right. Anybody want to know what Walker Street looks like on a Tuesday morning? Here you go. I know it ain't what you want to see. You want to see all the beautiful ladies. The difference between night and day. I'm a nighttime person myself. Always have been. But it is refreshing every now and then to get up in the morning and see what's going on in the world. Excuse me. With a clear head. Lollipop now hiring. One player up in Kokomo's, nobody on the perch. That's just sad right there, folks. That's sad right there. There's plenty of ladies hanging out over there at Excess. 
I don't know if they just getting off work, just coming to work. I have no idea. There are a lot of beautiful ladies. Grand Central Hotel. There's that Raging Bull Smokehouse. And I believe she said the other night she, they have a band in there. Got going on here these days. Folks, it's so quiet here. You can hear a damn pin drop. Who the hell would thought Walker Street would ever end up like this? Or Walker Street and Patty. I think it's equally as quiet. It's Baccarat. Good morning. Good morning. The gold bar. Basura going on here. Gentleman doing a good job keeping the streets clean. Hmm. Trash and desertedness. Alright, Mabuhai, it's more fun in the Philippines. Welcome to paradise. Great food, great people, and great times. There you go, there's your early morning tour through Walking Street. We get this all cordoned off here. Okay. I've heard and understand at prime time. You got to show your Fauci card to just walk down that street. Gentlemen lining up for another tough day being a trike driver here in Angeles City. There's a look over to Bills Avenue Hotel. The McDo. Again, we had a great stay at that Phil's Plaza Hotel. Can't complain about it. Beautiful ladies hanging out around that McDonald's. That McDonald's at the end of Walking Street got the greatest concentration of beautiful ladies uh, anywhere in the world. I don't say anywhere in the world. Ooh, got early morning leeching on my note. I could take some note home to the old lady. That dude right there is wearing a combination between. Santa suit, a pirate suit. I mean, imagine my chagrin. I don't know where he popped out of. Hey, to each his own. But I'm gonna tell you what, when you're walking down the back street here in Angeles, <laughs> and all of a sudden a damn pirate pops out in front of you. I'm like, wait a minute, I ain't been drinking. I'm stone cold sober. There's a six foot pirate standing in front of me, wearing pirate's boots. Thought I was in the fucking movie Captain Hook for a minute there. <sighs> Scorebirds, when y'all gonna open up the bikini contest? <clears throat> it's not their fault, folks. I know they want to bring back the bikini contest, as does every player in this town. Reminiscing on good times here, score burrs. No, as far as I know, it's still a quarantine hotel. Ah, shit, what the world coming to?
spy on the sides right here. See folks, when you creep around early morning, totally different perspective on things. Well, especially when you're sober. I mean, when you wake up in a hotel with a strange couple of ladies and you're still hung over and walk home, that's not the same perspective I'm talking about. You're stone cold sober out handling business early in the morning. It's got a different perspective. Pacific breeze. Still ain't figured out what's going on with them. It used to be our go-to hotel first started rolling this place. Got guards out there. I don't know. I don't know if they're doing the uh, quarantine thing or, or what. I'm not always in the know. I'm, I'm probably the worst person to ask about news from Angeles City. I don't watch the news, and I'm not on Facebook. So I just always am rolling in the blind. Good morning. Hey, is the hotel open or just quarantine? Yeah. Only quarantine. All right, thanks, buddy. Yeah, so Pacific Breeze still doing the, the quarantine thing, you know, just for international travelers returning OFWs. Now, the question is, how tempted am I to go right here and get a drink? And the answer is I'm not because, my goodness, I go right there's absolutely stunning. Nah. Nope, just gotta head back home. If it was just the old lady at the crib, folks, I would roam around all damn day. Morning, sir, how are you? Doing okay? All right. But it's not just the old lady, it's my two babies at the house, and that's what makes me go home. Back to the dollhouse. Tropics. See that lone, <laughs> that lone airplane up there. Can't wait to hear them jet engines roar. Again, my friends. There are a couple players up in Phillies watching the NFL game, it appeared to be. Hello. Hey, buddy, how are you? Hello. All right, good, man. Whoa, get run over by the garbage truck here. Gotta love these ladies' hair. Beautiful long hair. These Filipinas. That's what I'll do. I'll stop by and get some. I get some banana cute pretty old lady over here. She'll love me. She'll say, oh, you such a good foreign guy. I'll say I know, baby. I'm the best. Coming up on the chicken wire.
right, let me get some of this pork right here, folks. Yeah, take your time, dog. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Give me that, give me that small piece right there. All right, got some chicken feet for the old lady. These fish are fresh right here. And she's cleaning up the uh, chicken feet so the old lady can just throw them in the pan and cook when she gets there. All right, 792 pesos. Basically got uh, two different types of pork and a bunch of chicken feet for the old lady. So she's gonna be happy when I get back. For about what? About 16 bucks, somewhere in there for that big bag of pork. And hidden over here across from the Tiger Hotel is a little fresh market stand. Every time I pass by here, their vegetables look great. So I'm gonna pop in here to see what kind of vegetables I can pick up. And folks, everything here looks good. I'm loading up. I said, where's this honey from? They said Palawan. So I'm gonna get a bottle of this honey. It's uh, 100 pesos, $2 from Palawan. Yeah, I picked up some pants and noodles and some chicharrones for the old lady. Hello. Folks, beautiful ladies here. I can see Marcos. Beautiful ladies here, my goodness. I don't know what what's she cooking over there? Fried chicken. You got fried chicken? Jalebi's fried chicken. That's better than Jollibee, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How much is fried chicken? No, we don't sell it. Oh, you don't sell it? No. Oh, just for you? Yes, just uh, for breakfast. Oh, for breakfast, okay. All right. Good job, sweetie. I went to a place called Nunya, beautiful girl. Where did you go? Nunya business. Why you ask me where I go? You're tracking me on the iPhone app. You know exactly where I go. Baby, just don't worry where I've been. Just, you just, you just get the, the food, baby, and say thank you, King Marquitos. I got I got a secret for you in there. No, I went there. Let me see. Come here. That's my secret. Oh, this is for the babies here. That's for the babies. Your secret's in here in this bag. Chicken <laughs> Baby, I bought all the chicken feet them ladies had. I got you some hunks of pork, Mama. but I even had the lady chop the toenails off the chicken feet. It's already clean? I got her to oh, clean it, baby. I just it. All you got to do, well, she washed it already, but yeah, all you got to do is wash it and fry it up, baby. You looking so beautiful today, my goodness. Can you, can you share with brother? <laughs> no? I go see my pagan. I fry this off. Okay, whatever you want to do. I like this. I boil this first. I put the pepper in there. Then I boil. Then okay. I put in the rub. And boil then fry it up. I fried it after that. The skin. The skin is uh, no? crisp. Yeah. All right. Sounds good, baby. Maria, yeah, my son, app. Honey, did you go in the market? Nah, I just went by the small market, baby. Wait, Saw where? three beautiful ladies. Where? Over there by the Tiger Hotel. I mm -hmm. like this one because the skin is uh, no? pink, pink, pink. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Bring a Filipino fish, she'll love you. That was a good foreign dude, baby. I went to Walker Street, had What's a pocket this? full of money. Oh, that's some honey right there. I thought it's tanmoy. <laughs> nah, nah, it's honey from Palawan. I'm gonna mix that in my Jim Beam tonight. In the Palawan? 
Oh, yeah, okay. that's where they made it. It's probably one. Well, that's what they said. Yeah, mm. Oh, yeah, look at that. Two bucks for that bottle, folks. Now, honey's expensive anywhere you go, so two bucks. I had to pick that up. And you got to do some fish crackers, baby. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, folks, got a little upgrade here. I'll show you, we got this little burner in. Had to get another regulator. So I got the regulator hooked up. This one actually has a gauge on it. That one, cheap one over there, ain't even got a gauge. So I'll just show you how this little small one works. You know, anything small jobs. So you can come over here and it's so much easier. Boom, you can't see it, but it's gone. You know, just uh, easier for the old lady to operate that thing. And it's just got this piece right here that comes with it so you can hook up to an external tank. Or you put the little bottles in here and take it camping. But again, they don't last long. So anyhow, just a simplistic. If she needs to make eggs or anything with the low heat, we'll just keep this bad boy here. Predominantly for the big walk. Anyhow, that's our latest addition. Now, I needed to move the water off of there to make a little extra room. So, I just set it on these two little mini kegs that I was going to use for her piggy bank. But now, it's serving as the water. I don't know. We got some folks down the street partying like rock stars. I don't know. What kind of pandemonium going down? You got two different shoes on, son. Look, your shoes are over there, buddy. Make some french fries. A little barbecue all this pork. Coming over here. She put my Yeti cup in there. It froze with some ice. Because I ain't got no ice. And instead of chiseling it out, I just put some water there. And I'm just going to pour me a little gym beam on the top. Look at this. Look at that. Get a little splash. And I'm going to put some honey in there. I'm going to have honey and gym beam uh, with water. Or I can take my ass up there and get a couple cokes. I don't know. My wife number two is over there, chatting with everybody in the village. So if you hear roosters in the background, uh, she's doing Lego. Baby, go check on her for me. All right, we just throw some of these in here. Set them up upright. I think just get that air hole going through there. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm just gonna fire them up over here. They take a while to catch on. Like I said in the previous video, they're like logs. And if you take your uh, machete and chop them up, they'll start a lot quicker. But, whoa, boy. Whoa, man, that's my whiskey, buddy. This should be enough. But, you know, I'm, I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. Plus, you can recycle these things. There we go. Got a dual tank design going on now. And... I'm not going to try to blow myself up here. So let's get this bad boy here. Let's see if I can do this one hand. So I'm holding the iPhone 12 mini. Oh, yeah, I think I, pu I can push the button with my thumb. On the iPhone 12 mini, can it be done without blowing ourselves up in the iPhone? Oh, look. I think we did it. Gotta kind of blow them around, get them things going. Ooh, well, we'll take it up to 90. Hit the outer rings too, if they'll start going. There we go. That should not, oh, you can already hear it tingling, tingling. Folks, I'm gonna go back and order a bunch of boxes of this. By the time I went back, they were already out of stock. Again, it was only, I think, 120 pesos a box. I don't know what the deal was. Maybe they had them too cheap. Should have ordered everyone they had from the get go, but it is what it is. Back down here, get this honey I bought earlier today. Let's take a two handed operation. Mm hmm. Mm. A little honey in there, a little Jim Beam and honey. 
That honey's got a little bit different flavor to it. Look at there. Now that damn honey is done froze on my ice down there. It ain't gonna dissolve. That didn't work out too well at all. Guess the honey would be better suited to be in my coffee tomorrow morning. Oh well. What can you do? That is too easy. Just throw it on that grill for a couple minutes. Like I said, see, those things don't fall through there because they're not all broken up and they don't fall out on my feet. There you go. Just put the logs over in there. Get them down in there to cool off. Get them going. for the night. I better get that out of there. If I burn that, it'll be out the eye. Hey, sweetie girl, put that with your, with your letters. Look at these pieces of pork. Mm. Oh, yeah. Dig in here. Oh, shit. Hit the top of it. Look at that. Well, those some good looking pieces of pork. I, I couldn't pass those up. I don't know what you call these. Sometimes it, they'll call it country style. I call it thick bacon. Mm. Them thick strips of bacon. And I kind of messed up. Well, I guess I put that dude there. Hey, I'm still messing up. Put this one dude on the little slimmer. Short guy on the backside. Pull him down. There's room for everybody. So let's get you right over the fire. Right over that heat. There you go, no, no reason to get upset at each other. There we go. A little bit of sauce. Oh, yeah. A little bit of sauce back there. Oh, yeah. My goodness. I'm trying to get the damn ice to melt. I don't want to melt my Yeti cup. Got a fire going on down below. It's no problem. You just move your meat up here into bake mode. Get them out of harm's way. Let the fire rock home. I don't care. I just offset it right here. Mm-hmm. There we go. So I'll just offset them. Put these guys over here next to the exhaust. onion up there and more pepper and let that fire rage on rage on down below with the machine no we don't need the salt right now sweetie i know sweetie that's i don't know that's enough of listening to frozen baby all right good let's check that out it's done i'm declaring these pork chops these what I call thick bacon. These thick bacons are done. I told wife number two, come take a look. She's angry. She caught me talking to my girlfriend. She didn't catch me. Hell, I told her. Got some ladies coming over. She got a little jealous. You know what? That last onion. I'm going to sit there for just a minute. There you go. That's what we're working with right there. So apparently the charging system broke on this thing. I gotta figure out how to fix it. It's not enough power for her to go, but she can do the horn and the music. Honey, that's so noisy. That's so noisy, Maria. Okay, that's enough. Maria, can you tell us where you hid brother's numbers, his flashcards? Maria hid Force G's uh, flashcards, numbers one through 10. Nobody can find them. Here's an angry one right here. She's angry. She's all upset because my girlfriend and her friend are coming over to do a little barbecue. 
folks, I gotta say goodbye to my beloved Yeti cup. This thing has been wooing for years. Mom sent it to me. And for some reason, the red one keeps ice longer than the green one. I don't know why. But I have to say goodbye. And I don't know if it was either me or wife number one, but basically putting ice in this thing and chiseling it out with knives. We gouged out the steel right there. And those are shards just waiting to fall out. And folks, when any piece of gear causes you know, any type of risk, I mean, if those little pieces of metal fall out and I ingest them, then I'm shitting metal. That's not good. So you know what? It's better to do just uh, retire the product. I could probably sand it down, but you know what? I don't take a risk. Just saying goodbye to my beloved maroon Yeti cup. I might save the handle or I just might let it go with you, man. It's been good. We drank so many metric tons of beer. Gallons. I drank more beer out of this mug than them dudes on Strange Brew. But it's, it's got to go because of those shards. And it, like, it's not Yeti's fault, folks. It's our fault putting ice in there, putting it in the freezer, and then chiseling the shit out with the uh, survival knives anyhow number one if you're washing it that should have cut you and number two if it falls out that's it end of this one luckily i got a green one my goodness my goodness my goodness uh see right your sauce ketchup folks now i just cut that with that knife but it is so tender hold on sweetie <laughs> It is so tender. My goodness, that knife just, it was like cutting butter. Take a taste of my own medicine. Mmm. Mm-hmm.